Welcome to the Steeltown Human Resources Evaluation Center. Enter the body scanner behind me to begin your assessment for employment and... Uh... You don't look like the usual candidates. What's going on? Why do you have so many weapons? We've got business in the factory. Uh, are you who we see to get in? I'm not the doorman, I'm afraid. Not anymore. Sorry. To enter the factory, you have to pass the evaluation test. And to do that, you have to be examined by the machines. And lately, they've been failing applicants 9.9 .9 times out of 10. The door hasn't opened in a week. Good luck. Uh, I want to ask you about the testing process. Sure, ask away. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. And I'm not even being sarcastic. What is the purpose of these tests? To be the living definition of the term Kafkaesque? To drain the hopes and dreams of a hundred plus people a day? To drive me to drink? <sighs> Sorry, I have a bio problem. The stated purpose of the test is to evaluate the fitness, work experience, and mental stability of people seeking employment in the factory. People who pass are sent for job placement inside, but but that almost never happens. If nobody passes the tests, why do you keep administering them? Inertia? Once upon a time, I had a staff here, and we gave all these tests manually. Sent a lot of people through that door to a good job and a better life. Then Markham built her computation engine and decided that it would make all the hiring decisions. So she had these evaluation machines installed and told me that my new job was to be the friendly face that prepped people for the test. Apparently, the computation engine said that was the position I'm best suited for. So now the machines do all the work and I drink. <laughs> Man, what a life. And who are you? Horace Breeder. You wouldn't guess it now, but I was an actual doctor once. Now, I don't even do the eye test. Only good thing is, I can do this job stone drunk. So I am stone drunk as often as I can be. Like now, for instance. Oh my god. Good to know, Doc. Good to know. So you're not happy with your job then? <laughs> 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 what I tell myself every morning when I get up is it's better to be paid for getting drunk than to not be paid for getting drunk. That's more about the computation engine. I've never seen it. Could be a big brain in a box for all I know. But if that's the case, then it's got brain damage. Because the people who go through that door are always the ones I wouldn't have picked in a million years. It's like a magic asshole picking machine. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. I'm supposed to say it's the best thing ever. So, it's the best thing ever. Let's talk about someone else. Uh, can you heal us? There's nothing wrong with you. I still charge you, though, if you want. Okay, I guess we'll take the then test. Step into the garbage disposal behind me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant the biometric assessment pod. Don't get your hopes up, though. You look too competent to pass. Please keep your arms and legs fully inside the chamber. I, I, I honestly think you overestimate our ability to suck ass. <laughs> Words appear on the screen on the wall of the room. Welcome to the Stilltown Human Resource Evaluation Center's Biometric Assessment Diagnostic. Bad. Please complete the following three multiple choice medical history statements to the best of your ability while the scan completes. I am most allergic to... Uh... Pollen. Thank you for completing the statement. There are two more statements. My family has a history of diabetes, epilepsy, heart disease, or joint malfunction. Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, joint malfunction. 
Thank you for completing the statement. There is one more statement. I have blank cybernetic implants. None. Thank you for completing the last statement. Your final score is 100%. Congratulations, your physical assessment is complete. The biological assessment pod has completed its evaluation. Please move on to the ocular scanner. Here's a medical supplies. Must be approved by Dr. Wheeler. Hey, I don't have much of that to spare. The mechanical irises of the eye scanner stare at you, unblinking. They inch closer and closer to your face, then three lights flash in your eyes, red, blue, and green. How many lights do you see? <laughs> is this a nod to the to to Star Trek? This is a nod to Star Trek. I swear to God, there there are there are five lights. You answered five lights. Incorrect. There are five lights. Please look again. How many lights do you see? Five lights. Final answer. Correct. You have failed the test. <laughs> test status passed. The ocular scan is complete. Follow me to the skills test trial. Fucking... <laughs> uh... First warning. Unauthorized requisition of supplies. Chop. Skill test terminal. Welcome to the Stilltown Human Resource Evaluation Center's targeted resourcefulness assessment procedure. Trap. Complete the following three multiple choice statements to the best of your ability. Please select statement one to begin. Okay, uh, nerd stuff nine. Force quit the test routine and poke around inside the software. Quitting the test is trivial, and the file system. Oh, quitting the test is trivial, and and the file system is completely unprotected. There is a time-stamped log next to the test software. Someone made a remote change just before you started taking the test. No matter what answer you give, the test will always rate you as passed. Perception 8. Whoever rigged the test wasn't trying to hide it. It almost seems like they wanted you to know. Without warning, the machine reboots back into the test sequence. Welcome to the Still Human Resource Evaluation Center's targeted resourcefulness assessment procedure. Trap. Complete the following three multiple choice statements to the best of your ability. Please select statement one to begin. Statement 1. Thank you for selecting Statement 1, Statement 1, Fortitude. Statement 1. I am willing to work from each day. Um, home. Thank you for completing the statement. There are two more statements. Statement 2, Aptitude. Statement 2. When confronted with a square peg and a round hole, I... Use a lathe to round the peg. Get a big hammer. Thank you for completing the statement. There is one final statement. Statement three, attitude. Statement three, sentient machines are a threat. Thank you for completing the last statement. Your final score is 0%. Your final score is 50%. Your final score is 86%. Your final score is 100%. Congratulations, you have passed Steel Town. Human Resource Evaluation Center's targeted resourcefulness assessment procedure. You now, you have now completed all requirements for employment application. Please speak to Dr. Breeder for your results. Okay, that's over with. Let me take a look at the results. You, you passed. I can't believe it. You're the first in days. We finally got a pass. Open the main gate. Go back outside to the main gate and they'll let you in. I tell Ben and Beyonce I'm still waiting for my toilet paper. 
the old TP. Now, I'm going to save it quick, so I want to find out what happens if I try and unlock this door. Only steel town security and medical personnel are authorized to use this door. Step away. You passed okay. the screening? Welcome to steel town. Oh shit! Come on, ghost! Face down! Get to the candy! What's that noise out there? Oh crap, the ghost gang! Rangers, help us! Stop those bandits! Oh, that's just great! Looks like Markham's hired some new thugs! Get him, ghosts! Okay. Damn, shit just did get real. Um, who's this Raiden looking motherfucker? Uh, that is unfortunate that my party is so horribly split right now. Right, I can move it. Oh shit, I did not reload that gun. That's a bastard. Anywho, let's move over here. They resisted engulfed. I do not like them already. Butter McFly. A nice little safety spot for you, my dear. Let us see. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. Crash. Oh, I've got a nuclear missile ready. Yeah, I think that's about where I want to put it. Okay. Let's reload you. Okay, Stormer, we get our free shot, and I'm going to take it. Um, guaranteed kill. Pay for taking one of our own. Ooh, there's a lot of these dudes. Reload. And fire again. Wesson. Oh, my car's in on the action. Where the hell is my car? Oh, my God. Okay, 61%, don't miss. Oh, shit. Right, well, you know what? I'm just going to use a regular shot on you. Spinal implant. Applies a disruption field times 10, instantly knocking out the target. 50% chance. Detonates the target's spinal implant, unleashing a disruption field hazard around them.
my poor little car it is so far all right what have we got here what can we do what do we have Well, we're on fire. Sorry, cat. <laughs> oh, what's that when it's at home, I wonder? Oh, look at the dog butt. And pig's going for it. Provost. Stacking status effects. Okay, eyes up ranges. Certain weapons in Steel Town, such as the Tar Thrower, will apply status effects that stack. As more stacks are applied, the effects will increase up to a maximum of level 10. Over time, the number of stacks will drop, along with the severity of the effects. Okay, I'm... Um, Glad I left the tutorials on for this because I'd never have known that. So what's it take to reload? It takes six to fire. Alright then. Twenty percent chance. I don't know, man. Oh, that's going to get Wesson. Okay. Wesson. Can't even get him with that. My poor little car. Right, let, let's move over here behind some cover. Oh, snap. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty ice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hell. Brash, let's move you forward. Can you hit anybody? That's a resounding new. Let's reload that rocket launcher. Come on.
good stormer. I do not know what that disruption field does, but hey. Does him a mischief. Right, cat. Take much more. Oh, can't believe you missed with the free one. And you died. Go, chicken, go. Uh. Of course, the pig would set itself on fire. And the provost. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, there we are. Rangers, you survived. Uh, thanks for taking care of those bandits. They're such a nuisance. Are you coming in now? Who were those guys? Uh, we have more questions. Oh, good. I love questions. But why don't we save them until we can meet face to face, okay? Hi, everyone. Betty Bianchi here, Steel Town Personnel Manager, with an update on our current restructuring. Everything's going great. Thanks. I'm paying a visit to the damn dock. The main gate is open. You better go in. Can you pay me? Okay, let me just put down my drink. Jesus, I let an absolute fucking belter. <laughs> What's this? Extinguish. Usable in combat or exploration. Used to safely put out flames on a target character. Oh shit, that's pretty good. Um, I will hey, buy hey, some ammo from you. You talked to Benny yet? Sure. Have a look. Oh yeah, you got some flame fuel, and I'm gonna need plenty of it. All of it, in fact. I'm gonna keep the ammo for now in case I find any more handy little doodads in here that might be worth using. I do think I need to uh, relinquish the crossbows at some point. Okay, heroes, bills, ghosts. Okay, so it looks like we've got a bit of a ding dong going on down here. Oh, wait, loot. Of course. Cricket Crunch snack bar. Now I'm hungry. Disruption Pulsar, level 20 assault rifle. Good vibes for you, bad vibes for them. Five to six damage times two. That's shit. Why is this even a thing? It requires level four. Or requires four automatics. Poorly photocopied political pamphlet. This. Employee of the month betting slip. 
It looks like this person is really banking on Becky from accounting going down in the third round. Order slip. An invoice for 75 plastic flamingos and a gimpo, a gimpo corn. Whatever that is. Meal voucher. Test for Kodiak, the workbench. Oh, looks like we're going to be here for a while then, eh? Just do us another quick, quick save. Let me pop this hat and see what Hero has for us today. Shit! Those rangers again. Come on! Thanks, Hero! Do I, though? How can I help you, Steeltown Visitor? Why are you halting us? We passed Dr. Beeler's test with Steeltown employees. Those applicants who have passed the Steeltown evaluation tests are considered professional employees. To be a full employee, please see any VAT inside Steeltown for your badge. Only badged employees are allowed beyond this point. Everybody told us we needed a badge. Everybody said if we passed the test, we're employees. Because the Steel Town rules is not relevant. Those applicants who have passed the Steel Town evaluation tests are considered professional employees. To be a full employee, please see any VAT inside Steel Town for your badge. Only badged employees are allowed beyond this point. Okay, step. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna nerd this shit. Serial number hero IT code KPT maintenance shutdown subroutine starts. Program hero to recognize you as allies. Check hero's permission to enter list. As you might expect, the list includes current Steel Town ID holders. Oddly, it also includes former Steel Town ID holders. Uh, check Hero's list of supported functions. Under the usual guard, protect and patrol subroutines, you find some janky code that looks like it's commanding Hero to collect valuable junk while traveling its patrol path and store it in its torso. It would require some real technical know-how to remove the right rivets and grab the gear without dislodging the bot's power core. Uh, good thing I've got Mechanics 9 then, and open Hero's Torso Storage and see what's collected. Jackpot. Four Steel Tellurian Bars. I okay. Why did you let those gang guys through? They're not Steel Town employees. Or they must be employees of Steel Town. Uh, what's in the scrapyard? All objects, materials, and technology found in the scrapyard are property of Steel Town. Use your override code. KPT shutdown subroutine. Knowledge to enter a maintenance shutdown. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we're going. Okay. Right, let's do a bit of saving here. Because this place is dangerous. That guy's dressed in a bear suit. What the fuck? Nork. First of all, what? Second of all, you'll still need two of these anyways. Old pager. A beep's coming in a minute. In any minute now, you can feel it. Bar -war? Oh my god. Nice bear suit. Grrr! Look closely at the man in the bear suit. Through the eye holes of the bear mask, human eyes stare back at you. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, what an adorable bear who's got a shiny coat. Who eats yummy bear food? Okay, hard ass, pain, fear. Prepare to open fire, Rangers. This is clearly a dangerous animal. Mm, let's see if we can tame you. Uh, I'll go with the kit. Well, no, hard ass seven. I mean, seriously, feign fear. You, they suddenly go very still watching your guns. Admit that you're not a real bear, it will put you down. The man bursts into tears, huge sobs racking his body. The bear suit shudders as he weeps. <laughs> Kiss ass 10. Oh, here we go. Hey, we're really sorry about what we said earlier. You're clearly a real bear. <laughs> Keep looking at the bear. Okay. Oh, what an adorable bear. Who's got a shiny coat? Who eats yummy bear food? Roar. Come on, bear. Follow us. Roar. Bear wear. Oh, my God. Tougher than the average bear. Ancient police vehicle. This police car has seen better decades. On its rusted and bullet riddled door is painted a faint number 54. Uh, I, I have a feeling that is in reference to something, but I'm not sure. Might be slightly over leveled for this area, and believe you me, I'm fucking happy about that. <laughs> Holy shit. We got a tar thrower. Getting blasted by a flamethrower was bad. How about a molten tar thrower? And we've got the heavy fire suppressor. Small radio. Nothing but static. Yammer man, junk. Yammer man, yammer like your life depended on it. That looks like a battle arena. Oh, Wasteland Wormlings and a dragon. The Frost Crawler. I managed to kill the one that I did come across once upon a time back in the Warrens of whatever it was the bazaar am I type flamethrower fuel Eighty percent chance. At least it's actually fucking loaded this time. Might be able to kill this outright. 
or miss it entirely. I was able to do some damage. You got six AP. Might as well get you to take a shot and hopefully hit something this time. For whatever damage that was worth. Couldn't quite shock you though, could we? Right, Wesson. First of all, let's get rid of this thing. Or not. Oh, God. Almost got it. I mean, it almost doesn't seem worth bringing the car all the way here, to be fair. I think I've blocked up the fucking bridge. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, come on. I do not want to find out what this thing can do. Wesson, mate. That was nasty. <laughs> Fucking pigs going for it. Damn, that was a raging off. Oh, okay, let's move the car back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a good thing too. Okay, we've got another tar thrower and a fire suppressant sprayer.
We've got over here. Open cylinder chuke. This toilet glistens with an outer layer of frozen fluids. The inside is dark, coated in centuries of human waste. Human bones. Snow colored dirt. And slap bracelet. All you'll get is a slap on the wrist and no lessons learned, kids. Old racing buggy. A cute little racing buggy with a red, white, and blue stripe with a number 63 painting on its uh, rusted hood. No! Not Herbie! Oh, mate, you went bananas for the last time. Right, let's quickly pay a visit to the dock. It's only 25 wasp names. Yeah, talk to you in a minute, Betty. I've got scrapyard dealings to sort out. Main gate is open. You better go in. Can you pay me? Fine with me. Oh, shit. Main gate is open. You better go in. Can you pay me? <sighs> okay. Let me just put down my drink. Okay, let's let uh, Luis know. I guess you didn't have much choice fighting the ghost gang rangers. But it's a shame. They ain't so bad. At least not to us in the camp. Anyway, let's talk. Rangers, any word on what's going on inside the factory? Actually, we want to talk to you about the toilet situation. Shit, okay. We found the toilet and wiped up the beasties. You're clear to go get it. Shit, yeah. I'll get someone on that right away. There it is. Set it down gentle. Just one more push ought to do it. Ah, nice. This is great, Rangers. Thank you so much. We really... Oh. <coughs> oh, wee. That thing smells worse than the back end of a bison. Rangers, if you wouldn't mind, we're going to need something to clean this up. Steel Town makes a spray called Chemical Neutralizer. That ought to do the trick. If you see some, could you bring it to us? Okay, we'll Thank look for you, it. Rangers. <laughs> Don't think any of us are going to have the courage to use this can until it's been sanitized. Ah, good luck. Well, I believe I have a quest where the Supposedly someone named Walsh can fix the paperwork so Cookie can... Ah, uh, yes. So we need to speak to Walsh. We can get the chemical neuralizer through um, more beneficial means. Further mercs, this is ghost territory. You best turn around. Who are you? Me? I'm just a steel town girl on a Saturday night looking for the fight of my life. Careful, don't dance into the danger zone. I'll cut you like a knife. What do you want? Uh, we're just looking around. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere else. We're allergic to snoopers. And stay out. Okay. Well, they're kind of leaving me no choice here. So, Beals, I'm sorry. You left me no choice, Beals. I'm actually going to heal the Provost as well. Uh, 
Let's just do another quick, quick save. Combat started. Let's rally the troops. Oh, that was a free action. Fucking yes. Move here, I get them. Okay, we'll go for that then. Absolutely fucking crushed them. Right. Switch it up to uh, that one. You know, I'm actually going to go back to this. Mark. You. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind us. We're just troubleshooting. Crash. Oh dear. Oh dear. You died. Quite horribly, I might like to say. Let's move all the way over here. Get the free shot. Wesson. Good shot, Wesson. Seems almost a shame to waste that shot. Let's see what Cat can do coming around the back. You know, I'm going to ambush. Interesting. Got a beat on them. Elemental shields. Those enemies have deployed elemental shields. They start at level 2 and will decrease by one level each combat turn before expiring. While active, they provide immunity to most damage and status effects, including disruption. However, each shield is weak 
to its own elemental damage type, blast them with their own element to take them down faster. So these are energy shields, and that one's a frost shield. Shit, I don't have a frost gun equipped. I did, but I don't now, because I've got the fucking tar gun. God damn it! Minus 82%. to that bitch Okay, Wesson. So that's the ghost nut gang done. Uh, chemical neutralizer. Pneumatic gauntlet. Ooh. Shame we don't have a brawler in the group. Right, let's uh, heal up crash. I'm not going to keep going to the dock for this shit. Not if I can do it here. Go. Ooh. Level nine. Level nine. Level nine. Level nine. Toaster repair. I think I've got a thing just right here for that. Hehe. <laughs> What's this? Elite Tar Thrower. Now your enemies will feel like they're melting like the Wicked Witch of the West, except with tar. Okay, let's put those aviators back on. Thick glasses. Weird science, plus one. Um, ooh, da, 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 da. crafting that's what I want. Weapons Elite Tar Thrower, weapon modding eight, forty steel bars. Holy shit! We got a corpse, Steel Town Scout Journal. I figured out how the ghost gang gets in and out. Set the radio by the rail car to 89.3 FM, then follow the directions to set the other radios in the scrapyard. Now I just got to get back to Stilltown without the ghost spotting me. Easy peasy. God. The number nine is painted on the side of this once sleek yellow sports car, faded and flaking from years of wind and snow. Yellow sports car. I don't know, man. Don't know, I'm not sure. Is that a reference to Bumblebee, maybe? I don't know. Wasteland 3 server. An old file backup server. Poor thing. Looks like it's been hit by the deluge of water and the deluge of fire. 
And we've got a safe safe. Level 10 lock picking. Elite Pyro Exo Suit. Flamethrowers ain't shit against this remodeled suit. Elite Pyro Exo Helmet. The envy of firefighters. An elite pyro exo leg armor. When the floor is lava, you'll reign supreme. Oh, God. Armor. What? What's the bet this requires? Stupid amounts of armor. God damn. And tellurium steel, too. Oh, look at those, man. Oh, they are well annoyed. I've got a feeling Still Town is going to be fucking huge. This must be the radio the Ghost Gang's note mentioned. You see a power switch set to off and tuning uh, and a tuning dial currently set to 101.3 FM. Turn it to 89.3 FM, flip the power on. 9363 1. Four, one. The power switch flips to off and the turning dial returns to 101.3 FM. Strangely, the radio emits a low buzz as if some element is still powered and is waiting to receive transmissions from the other sources. Interesting. So there must be other radios around here then. The radio is on and ready to receive. But receive what? That is the question. Oh, what do I have a feeling this is a melting pot waiting to happen? And also, it's very loud in here. Uh, contents, food grade shave on goat meat. No more than 2% synthetic protein substitute. What's the status of those crates over there? Shipping authorization pending. Why is it pending? What's holding it up? You are not authorized to receive information regarding authorization protocols. Thanks for the info. Oh boy. Guardbot XL. Crate full of trees. Contents. Live trees. Do not let temperature fall below 75 degrees. Destination Aspen Resort. 600 pink flamingos. Oh my god. Christmas ornaments. Baby safe stuffed toys. Oh dear. We're heading to admin. A young woman in a business suit stands with her fingers in her ears, wincing at the sirens. But as you enter, she whips them out and puts on a big smile. Rangers! Benny Biachi! Welcome to Steel Town. Good to finally meet you in the flesh. Abby and I thank you again so much for dealing with those pesky bandits. Ugh. You've made Steel Town better for everyone. While we're here, Carla Asphalt run a us to talk to you about a shipment. Oh, I love Carla, but I'm afraid that'll have to wait until you've talked to Abby. If you can just give me your names for your badges, I'll send you right to her. Uh, reading our names off our uniforms will be easier for you. That way, you'll get the spelling right. <laughs> oh my god. We'll go with the kiss ass. That is so considerate. Thank you. You guys are so nice. 
Okay, got it. Here are your badges. Now, just follow the blue line and you'll find Abby in the control room. Or, I mean the dark blue line, not the light blue line. Actually, you could go straight. It's shorter that way. No, wait. You should probably take the blue line after all. The computation engine said that's where the line should be painted, and it's never wrong. Oh, also, if you're looking for an exciting career in the wonderful world of heavy industry, come back here after you've talked to Abby, and I'll give you a placement test. Isn't she nice? <laughs> oh my god. The shit is about to hit the fan. And you know what, folks? That's where we're going to leave it for now. We are in Stilltown. And we're going to find out more about what's going on here when we return. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all again the next time we return to Colorado and the Wasteland. Bye-bye.